ओके मैं तो मैं सर शाल भी स्टार्ट सर करा है स्टार्ट करा सर ओके सर ओके तंजे मैम प्लीज स्टार्ट योर प्रेजेंटेशन सर गुड मॉर्निंग है मैं ऑडिबल यस यू आर ओ मैं तो माइक पे हूँ सेक्टर इन नागपुर Uh, my uh, this place of research is Dunmatter National College, and my guide is Dr. Kavita Patil, ma'am. So these are the various things which we'll be covering in the present hypothesis, uh, methodology, and future scope of study. So the role of women in India is changing drastically. Women today are also entering sectors which were pre, uh, earlier dominated only by male individuals. They are gaining education, entering workforce, and are constituting a good proportion of workforce in. companies they are also willing to acquire leadership positions but position and those who acquire are still facing several challenges and issues according to a grant thought globally accounts only to 31% so if you look at the statistics of india as to how many women represent are represented in a leadership position education the representation is only 29% financial services it is only 19% hospital healthcare sector it's 25% and hospitality sector it's today in leadership positions is still disproportional uh, women today are still facing challenges like glass ceiling which is a transparent barrier which stops women from entering the top layers of the organization queen bee syndrome it is a situation in which a woman manager herself becomes a uh, block for other women employees and it hinders the growth of uh, women employee perceptions and isolation uh, at workplace for the study the generation which we have selected is generation x which are born between 1965 to 1980 generation y born between 19 to 2000 and the study is conducted in service sector uh, and the selected five sectors are banking financial services and insurance it services hospitality industry healthcare services and telecommunication service uh, if you look at the research gap and conceptual framework through a literature review of 157 national and international papers these are the five major factors of challenges faced by women managers cultural issues which is a societal norm gender uh, discrimination sorry to interrupt kanchan ma'am segregation uh please yes, share sir. your screen once again is it is Actually, not your presentation is not uh, uh, visible properly only first slide we, uh, we can see okay okay sir just a minute sir window what i screen kar de Yes, 
visible. So this was the statistics that we talked about. Glass ceiling, queen bee syndrome, isolation. So the study is conducted on generation next. Yeah, it is visible right now. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. So, yes. So through literature review of 157 National International Paper, it was found out that the major five challenges faced by women managers are due to cultural issues. Here, cultural issue represents the societal norms or the uh, understanding uh, that the society perception that society formulates about women employees. Gender discrimination, that is segregation between the treatment which is given to male and female at workplaces and in the society. Workplace e ecosystem uh, are also not uh, conducive, which is one of the uh, factor. Homework conflict, uh, when a male is occupying a higher designation in an organization, a lot of position is occupied by a female, they are not extended that much support and they keep uh, juggling between home and work. So that is homework conflict. And here personal factor or the self are uh, the loss of uh, de desire to grow in the career, confidence, esteem that the woman has. So uh, earlier, a lot of studies have been conducted uh, to find out the challenges faced by women managers. What is unique about our study is that we have tried to understand the interrelationship between these factors and the challenges. That is why we have created a conceptual framework. We have proposed a conceptual model to fill the research gap as previous studies have not been conducted uh, on uh, creating a conceptual model. Also, one more unique thing about the study is that we have tried to find out the differences and challenges and issues faced by women managers belonging to different generation which is generation X and Y and we selected five uh, conceptual model of our study in which uh, the independent variables or the exogenous variables are cultural factors, gender discrimination, homework conflict, workplace ecosystem, sector and generation, generation X and Y and health which is personal factors. I will quickly explain you what is the proposed model and how this model has been formulated. So if you look at look here, the first uh, primary factor which is leading to issues for women managers is the cultural factors. So traditionally women have been considered as those members of the society which are uh, uh, not, which are supposed to take care of everything at home. Uh, and they are never considered as the bread earner of the family. So, uh, even if they are occupying a higher position in the organization, uh, and as per law, there is no segregation in male and female, but as per societal norms, there is still a differentiation in the treatment of male and female. So, this cultural factors and the societal norms leads to gender discrimination experienced by women, which is segregation in the treatment given to male and female in all the places like the society, workplaces, home. That is why gender discrimination also leads to homework conflict. When a female is occupying a higher position in the organization, she is still expected to take care of everything at home and her primary responsibility is always home and not the work. And that is why they keep juggling between home and work and this also creates workplace ecosystem which is not conducive for the growth of female employees. They still experience queen bee syndrome, uh, gender dis uh, queen bee syndrome, glass ceiling and other isolations at work. So here uh, and that is why because of these pressures like cultural factors they lose the desire to grow in their career. They uh, lose the confidence and that is the reason why they give up at some point of time in their career and they don't grow beyond a specific layer in the uh, organization. Also the sector in which the woman is employed has a direct impact on whether the workplace ecosystem will be conducive for the growth of women or not. And according to studies, the characteristics of generation X and Y are very unique. They behave very differently. Thus, it can be assumed that the challenges faced by these two generations will also be different. That is why this will have a direct conceptual model of our study. We have validated this conceptual model with the help of structural equational modeling and confirmatory factor analysis. So if we have a look, the, look at the objectives of the study, the primary objective of the study is to find out the challenges and issues faced by women managers across different generations in the service sector of Nagpur city. Apart from that, we've also tried to compare the issues and challenges faced by women managers belonging to generation X and Y in service sector of Nagpur city. We have also tried to study the practices adopted by organizations uh, of the service sector of Nagpur city for eliminating these issues. To validate the proposed conceptual model is also one of the primary objective of our study and uh, uh, to compare the issues faced by women managers across 
across service sector of the Nagpur city. So these are the hypotheses of the study. These are the nine hypotheses which we have uh, validated in our study. The sample size which was taken was 300 women managers and uh, were used purposive and convenient sampling and 60 was collected from each selected five sectors and the universe is women managers working in service sector of Nagpur city. The data for the study was collected using a structured questionnaire. The questionnaire was finalized after conducting the pilot study and reliability and validity test. The Cronbach alpha value was greater than 0.865, which is greater than 0.6. That is why the questionnaire is valid. The questionnaire was formulated on these five factors. Each fi factor had sub factors also and uh, multiple statements were identified. So in total, 154 statements were put to Likert scale from strongly agree to strongly disagree. So for the data analysis, uh, the, for descriptive statistics, we have used measures of central model, which we discussed in the previous slide. We have used structural equational modeling and confirmatory factor analysis. And for testing the remaining. So two major hypotheses, hypothesis of value is uh, within the threshold uh, is significant. So that that's, thus we can say that there is difference in challenges and issues fa faced by women managers belonging to generation X and Y. And there is significant difference in issues faced by women managers across selected five service sector of Nagpur city. Now for the remaining seven uh, hypothesis that we have, we have validated those seven hypotheses with the help of confirmatory factor analysis. This is the output that we received uh, after conducting the confirmatory factor analysis. As you can see here, uh, cultural factors, workplace ecosystem, gender discrimination, homework conflict are all, all uh, exogenous variables, independent variables and here self is a dependent variable. And these are the various core relationships and the factor loading that we have got. So I'll explain what output did we actually derive from the confirmatory factor analysis with help in the next slide in findings and suggestions. Uh, the uh, the uh, um, This output that we received was validated uh, with the help of uh, goodness of fit. And these are the summary of the indices that we have used. Just a minute. Uh, value and, uh, 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 that is fit uh, for. Um, and your slide is not visible. Uh, stop presenting your presentation and again share your screen. आराम से कर लीजिए मैडम कोई दिक्कत नहीं है
video. Sir, my apology, there was a network issue. I'll again share my screen. Sir, is my screen visible? Ah. So till now we discussed about the output of the confirmatory factor analysis. Now we'll focus on the findings and the suggestions that we received from the study. So the study revealed that majority of the women managers are unable to focus on their health due to their job. And uh, they suffer from issues like uh, diabetes, hypertension, obesity. And that is why organizations, uh, it is a suggestion to the organization that they can arrange for wellness programs, health checkups and regular counseling for women employees. And also, women are still facing issues of isolation from male subordinates, Queen Bee Syndrome, Clubism. Clubism, the term here is a uh, concept wherein uh, a club is created uh, against women employees so that they are not involved in the social networks. So, it is, it is a major barrier for the progression of women managers. Also, uh, a worrisome problem which was found out in our study is that some women still experience the cases of sexual harassment at their respective organization and it is a, a major issue and stringent policies must be formulated to eliminate an issue like this in workplaces. Also, uh, as we discussed in the previous uh, when we discussed the conceptual model, we found out that homework conflict is a major issue that women are facing. When women is occupying a higher level designation, they feel guilty for leaving their children at home and uh, they feel guilty that they are not given enough time at uh, home. Thus, organizations should provide crash facilities to married women with children. A lot of organizations have already incorporated this rule that if they have more than 10 women working in their organization, they by default have a daycare facility within the organization so that they don't feel guilty for leaving the child and not spending time with them. Also in this research, researchers have recorded that women issue, experience issues like anxiety, depression, sadness and stress. The stress management workshops and wellness programs are very much needed in the organizations. The study, a major finding of the study is also that there is difference in issues and challenges faced by women managers belonging to generation X and Y. If you look at the differences uh, uh, as compared to generation Y, uh, X generation Y managers prefer more flexible work setup. Uh, generation X was okay with sacrificing their social life, family time or me time but that is not the case with generation Y managers. The study suggests that as compared to Generation X, Generation Y values more me time and thus uh, organization can arrange for uh, gym facility within the organization, nap rooms, uh, spa membership and other factors to ensure that Generation Y managers uh, do not have to sacrifice with their family time and me time. Also, Generation Y individuals have very high standards and thus juggling between home and work becomes even more stressful with, for them. And as compared to the previous generation, they experience more amount of work stress. The stress management workshop again is a very uh, necessary thing in the organizations. As compared to Generation X, Generation Y individuals are more growth oriented. They prefer to have a job which contributes to their personal growth and development. And that is why management development programs and career planning counseling is a necessary thing for retaining Generation Y managers. Also, one of, again, a worrisome problem is that it, it was expected that since the society is progressing, the role of women is changing. Generation Y managers should have experienced less instances of sexual harassment as compared to the previous generation. But according to our study, that is not the case. In fact, Generation Y managers have experienced more instances as compared to Generation X. So stringent policies must be in place. Not only policies must be formulated, but it must be ensured that they are also applied in workplaces appropriately. The study also reveals that there is difference in issues and challenges faced by women managers in selected for five service sector of Nagpur city. As per goodness of fit index, the proposed conceptual model is a perfect fit, thus it can be said as proposed by our study. Cultural factor is the primary reason that women suffer from gender discrimination, which in turn leads to homework conflict, non-conducive workplace ecosystem. And because of this, women lose the, lose the desire to succeed in their career and at some point of time give up. They do not utilize their potential to reach to the top position. And many women have inferiority complex, lack self-confidence, efficacy, and this lack of belief stops them from going, going in their career. So if we give up on traditional cultural norms and change the way we look at women, a lot of these issues can be resolved. So study concludes that women occupying managerial position are still facing several challenges. Cultural factor is the primary reason that women are suffering from these challenges. There is difference in issues and challenges faced by generation X and Y women managers. Also, it's according to our study, uh, there is difference in uh, challenges and issues faced by women managers belonging to the selected five service sectors. 
and organizations need to continuously work on policies which are inclusive gender neutral and are constant should also constantly thrive strive to create a workplace ecosystem which is conducive for the growth and progression of women if you look at the research implications there are several government schemes which are already in place in india for women empowerment like beti beti bachao beti padhao national policy for empowerment step mahila shakti kendra rajiv gandhi national crash scheme but in spite of these women are still facing several challenges so maybe one of the reason is that a lot of women are still not aware about the rights and the schemes which are there for their benefit so more awareness and propaganda of these scheme must be done also uh, the current study has proposed all the challenges which women are facing in their day to day life as uh, managers thus the study will help the corporations the government policy makers organizations to design appropriate policies for women employees so and since and uh, since uh, cultural cultural factor is the primary reason that women are still experiencing uh, f- issues as managers thus uh, the way we look ch- changing the way we look at women becomes a very important thing and thus awareness and sensitization of need of equality is very much required uh, also this uh, as we have found out in the study that there is difference in challenges and issues faced by women managers belonging to generation x and y thus policy makers must design appropriate policy for generation y managers and it will help them to make uh, retain generation y managers and allow them to reach to the higher positions in the organization so if you look at the limitations and future scope of study as the study is only restricted to women managers further studies can be done on women employees as well and uh, uh, other male employees can also be done studies can be done on as the current study has used only confirmatory factor analysis in structural equational modeling man with me unit other tools can also be used for doing similar studies like focus group study parametric other parametric and non parametric tests can also be done since the current study is only focused on generation x and y managers further studies can be done on generation z individuals also to better prepare the policy for the future challenges the study is conducted only on five selected service sector so other service sectors must also be selected for further studies and many in the similar study can be conducted in manufacturing sectors as well the current study is conducted in nagpur city uh, thus it cannot be generalized so further studies can be done in other parts of india inter country comparative analysis can also be done to better understand and eliminate the challenges faced by women managers uh the tangible outcomes of my study are these are the five uh, research papers which i have p- published on my phd work two of them three of them are scopus indexed and two of them are web of science uh, indexed my uh, questionnaire which i designed for the study was also uh, published the copyright of the questionnaire was uh, published in 2020 so as uh, dr apj abdul kalam said empowerment of women leads to development of a good family good society and ultimately a good nation thank you very much okay let's go to the stop shaking stop shaking ma'am uh, am i audible Yes, sir. Sir, good day, sir. Yes, sir. Are there any policy implications to whatever you have done, like? Yes, sir. Uh, the current study uh, is creates a lot of uh, social and policy impl- implications. Like we found out that there are s- several uh, suggestions which we have recommended to the organization, so the organizations can implement those suggestions. Also, different policies will have to be formulated for generation Y managers, as there is difference in challenges faced by both the generations. and uh, conceptual model has proposed that cultural factor is the primary reason that women are facing several uh, issues that is why more awareness and sensitization to equality in india uh, when it comes to women is very much required uh, and that does we this is the policy implications of our study factory policy government government policy for the also uh, the schemes uh, which are government schemes which are already in place uh, can be more there, there can be propaganda and more awareness can be created so that more women can benefit those from those uh, policies madam sir your questions please ji ji sir 
मैडम बहुत अच्छा टॉपिक है आपका बहुत अच्छे से आपने प्रेजेंटेशन किया है आदरणीय उपविन कर सर को मैं सादर प्रणाम करता हूँ और उन्होंने मुझे मौका दिया है वाई वाई लेने का आपके लिए इससे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद उपिन कर सर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सर प्राइमरीली द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दस schemes that we suggested in our uh, study like having a daycare facility if there are more than 10 women in the organization then uh, uh, ensuring that the health is health of women are is given emphasis and cultural barriers are not there like stereotype prejudices so appropriate tra- training and uh, culture formulating a uh, su- suitable culture for the women managers become essential also stress management workshops are very much required since we found out in multiple uh, dimensions of our study that that is a major problem that women are uh, facing due to home work conflict uh, discrimination and other factors also uh, the if you talk about the implementation of our st- suggestions uh, one of the other implementation is also that if cultural factors are the primary reason the role of government also increases here as they should create more sensitization and awareness in terms of uh, equality and maybe a refinement in the existing schemes is required so that more uh, females can benefit uh, from those schemes okay okay madam good madam okay thank, thank you. you congratulations thank you sir uh, any more questions from participants mr scholars it is open defense viva so uh, you also can ask if you are okay so uh, i would like to ask madam war sir uh, sir are you satisfied with her viva and do you recommend him uh, recommend her for the award of phd degree okay sir okay sir i am fully satisfied thank you so much sir uh, i would like to ask uh, patil ma'am uh, ma'am are you satisfied with her viva and do you recommend her Yeah, yeah, I'm very much satisfied uh, that she should get a PhD award degree in the subject, and she had done a wonderful mm-hmm. research work and a good publication. So I'm very happy with her work, and she has presented the paper and written the in a very appropriate way. Congratulations to her and her family also. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, being a research center coordinator and the, with the permission of Chair Os Deshmukh sir. Uh, Sir is also satisfied with her viva, and uh, uh, they are ready to award her uh, PhD degree. Uh, I congratulate uh, Kanchan Ma'am for uh, being a PhD awardee, and uh, I would like to thank Madam Var Sir. Sir, really thank you so much for joining us this viva, Open Defence viva. Uh, I would like to thank uh, our RS. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. 